this was an opportunity for me to shine a bit of light on a story that is uh, shaped my people, our community, the trajectory of the Seneca Nation over the last 50, now 60 years. And so that five minute music video ended up evolving into a 25 minute documentary. And I interviewed my father, my grandmother, um, other community members, my high school Seneca history teacher. And at the time, I didn't really have any sort of ambitions as a filmmaker or even for the project itself. I just produced it because I, I felt like I needed to. It was, it was, I was working through something, I think, in a way, trying to flesh out this story, having been through so many experiences over those first three semesters where I felt like I didn't represent myself or my people well. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know what to say. And this was me saying something. And it sort of took on a life of its own. And I, you know, there were probably a few dozen screenings over the next couple of years. And I was being introduced as a filmmaker. And so after that semester and, and during that, that period of time, I began to, I think, embrace that idea of working in, in digital video, in producing film. And I give Deb Blaney and I give my experience at JCC a lot of that uh, credit for, for setting me on this path, yeah.